No, he can't. There's no overlap. There's a little bump. They're moving. Can he outbreak him down the left hand side? Oh, in the fence! That's massive! That's massive! This is going to be a big, big incident. The safety car out. Tander and Coulthard in a wild exchange. Mate, I have to say, that guy's career needs to be over, I reckon. That is ridiculous. I'm really sorry, mate. You did a fantastic job. So, extraordinary scene on the front straight. Ryan Storey in disbelief. And that has torn apart the Dick Johnson Racing Team Penske Ford Falcon. And it didn't really understand which, who was zigging and who was zagging. We were on board at the time. Let's have a look from the chopper. So Tander at this stage is needling, needling, needling. That's all permitted. This is fine. There's an overlap and there's air. Then there started to be a position exchange and another. No problem. Where did the contact come and why? Here. Oh, Gus turned him. Absolutely. Garth has turned him and he'll no doubt be penalised for that. And uh, that's going to already been a lot of emotion in the pit lane in the last two weeks. Wow. That's fast. That's roughly 250 kilometres an hour. They've had a few moments, these two, over the years, and that is a big one. That car be unlikely to see action tomorrow with that level of damage. They are nearby at Stapleton, their head office and workshop. And uh, there'll be a bit of disbelief there for Coulthard. Oh, oh. So that's a 265 kilometre an hour accident. Now, it's yeah, probably like to see it again just to see, just to be sure, because I've damned Garth Tander there, unless Fabian moved over. But there was an overlap. There's pretty tough rules in terms of the overlap, but that looked. Here we go. Okay. Well, what will happen here is that they'll both blame each other. That actually looks worse for Fabian. But him moving at that stage, yes. Yeah, that yeah. looks worse for Fabian. I'm not sure. I'm 50-50 I'm on this one now. I thought that Tander had actually moved to the right from the chopper shot, but now I'm thinking that Coulthard actually moved to the left. So as it is with these incidents, everybody's got a bit of equity. Wow, how fast was it? seen a couple of monster crashes here over the years, but on board now is Fabian. And this is why I couldn't work out who was jinking and who was... Yeah, it was hard to work out right. here because it's a relative thing, isn't it? A little overlap. There is a little overlap there. Which means when you've got the overlap, you've got to give the other guy room to race. Now, what's important... What's important is that... Got to see where there's road left on the on the left hand side. So the important part of this is if there is an overlap, because it's not an overlap there, because you can't drive along the back like that. But there is a slight overlap at the point of contact. So did Fabian escort him wide, and did Garth have more room to go? This one's. I think both guys have got a fairly sizable chunk in the, what's happened here. And speaking of chunks, that's actually done so much damage to the debris fence there and the concrete barriers, that's going to be an issue. Ryan, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Ryan. We just wanted to... Firstly, we just want to ask, did Fabian speak to you on the radio? Did he say that it was okay? Yeah, he said he said he's okay. Yeah. yeah. You've seen a number of really replays now. Just your thoughts. None on of them make me any happier, I can assure you. None of them do, but... Uh, yeah. Hard not to be disappointed with that. Absolutely. No words say a lot. Thank you. And on the uh, flip side, we'll just uh, Adrian Burgess quickly. Massive, uh, obviously a massive crash there, and uh, we'll be analysing as we do many times. You've been in a f couple of these lately of having to analyse, but uh, we'll just ask for your thoughts. Oh, look, I mean, the, the most important thing there was Fabian getting out of the car, okay? I mean, nobody likes to see uh, smashed up race cars, especially at such high speed. So he's the most important thing. Look, it's hard to draw any real conclusions. I'm not going to. We can't blame them, and we're not going to blame ourselves. But 
we, it looked like we had a bit of an overlap. And uh, at some point, we're meant to be turning right there or we're both going to be in the wall. But I don't know if Fabian had an issue with his car and you know, he kept coming over to the left. But you know, I think all that is secondary. And the most important thing is that he's OK. Thanks, mate. And for Coulthard, he's naturally coming left because that's what you do every other lap. And so right. you're coming, you start from you're starting from the wide yeah. approach to that corner. So, um, yeah, well, this is another one of those supercar debates that will go on as everybody takes a position on it and uh, they'll all have their own thoughts. I thought to begin with it was pretty damning towards Tanda, but having seen all of the other angles, I think both of them have actually got a fair bit of equity in what's unfolded there, sadly. And for one of them, the damage is extreme, which is really sad to see. And there are two issues. When you have overlap, so this is the run into the final corner. We've reported for you the little bump, bump, bump. And then at that point there, there is no overlap because he can move across right and then left. There is no overlap. But he just slightly now has an overlap there. Now, it does still look like Garth turning into the right. Mm. But it, from the front, it looks like Fabian is slightly moving it over to the left. Which in that is. zone there, yeah. which that's it's sort of the trajectory you normally take. And bear in mind that neither of them at that stage understand that there can be a few mil of overlap. So the overlap's important because until there is an overlap, you can go anywhere you want, provided you only do it once as the, as the car in front. The guy behind, he can go anywhere he wants to try and make the pass. But Coulthard would be naturally moving to the left down there to get the ideal approach into the corner. And, and look at the amount of damage on that car. It's ripped it apart. And one of the hard parts is with your visibility, with the seat design and the Hans device, the whole thing, you actually don't know where the other competitor is when you do that. So the only time that you actually get a feel for it is when they make contact. So that little Which, bit of contact is obviously the result of this. Bang! And that's at real speed. <laughs> and it's just disintegrating at this point. Okay, a little turn to the right. Testament to the strength of the cars and the safety cell that the drivers are in that we see these images of Fabian getting out unharmed from a 265 kilometer an hour incident with Garth Tander.